Hello viewers, this is Shinji Michael from Screen Reviews bring you a new podcast for a segment called The Vorto Reveal. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to beat so hard during this audio podcast recording as well, not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast before they were retained, so don't name it. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will retain your adult language. Now, if you're over 18, then you should get to watch this audio podcast recording. So anyway, with this and anything I've talked about out of the way, let's get into the latest episode of Borto. So basically... <laughs> So basically, so basically, just to, let's get into the latest, let's get into, let's get into the video of this latest episode of Boruto. So basically, the episode starts on, we see Boruto and the others, you know, and, you know in the forest, waiting for, waiting for Lord little owl to show up at the, at the bang, at the banding, at the Banging Stone Tower that they were hiding on. So basically, in the previous episode, they came up with a plan to to take down Lord Owl. Lord Owl. So basically, they was executing their plan and waiting for Lord Owl to show up, execute their plan to take him down. So basically, Lord Owl showed up, and Lord Owl is no dummy. It's no dummy. He showed up at the Banging Stone Tower that Borto and the others were were hiding that. So basically like Lord Owl say Low Owl being being a being a shinobi like you know notice notice that Borto that Borto and the others were hiding in the forest trying to ambush them. So basically we see we see so basically, you know, we see so basically Koharu Koharu Sarada Sarada and Mishi start to engage Lord Owl in combat. So basically so basically, Lo Al had had one of uh, uh, the adopted Koski's absorbing gauntlet. So basically, rather rather whatever element to use is that that they try to try try to hit Lo Al with, it will be dissolved by by the gauntlet that you know, that Lo Al got <laughs> took from Doctor Kiski's from Doctor Kiski's uh, power suit. So anyway. So anyway, the others, so basically, for some reason, the others kept, so basically, Koharu, Sarada, and Miki kept on using YouTubes against, against Lo Al, and he used the gauntlet to try, you know, to adore their YouTube attacks. So basically, that's where Lo Al realized that, oh, this is some type of setup, so basically, they know about, it's just, I, they know I have a blind spot, so basically, they, so basically, they, these three are distracted. And while Boruto tries to sneak attack, it's trying to try to try to do a sneak attack against me, where, you know, using my blind spot. So basically, Low Album managed to predict predict their strategy once Boruto. And so basically, Boruto tried to attack Lo Al with the chakra saber that um, that he got from Doctor uh, Doctor Kiski. Kiski, Kiski, sorry, Doctor Kiski, Kiski. So basically, but Lo Al managed to catch Boruto and, and managed to get the beam, uh, get the chakra saber from Boruto's hand, and, and, and he used the saber and tried to kill Boruto, but instead, but instead, it turns out. That well, it turns out it was just one of Borto's shadow clones that he stabbed with a chakra saver. So basically, so basically, Lord Al before he had Borto and used the chakra saver on on Borto's shadow clone instead. So basically, turns out it turns out that it turns out that you know, there was more to the strategy just to try to get close to uh, try to get close to uh, try to get close to it. So basically they used the chakra saver so basically Mishi wrapped his hand use his jet to to keep the chopper saber in Lord Al's hand because AJ is approaching chopper very quickly. So basically Lord Al was like, damn, this damn saber stream. So basically that's when Lord Al realized that this saber is draining his chopper very quickly. So basically 
and Mickey was trying to keep that chocolate saver in and Lord how and Lord out hand, but he was able to free himself from Mickey's jet juice and you know and was able to discard the chocolate and was able to get rid of the chocolate saver that was draining his his chocolate. So anyway, this is when Boruto had the opportunity. This is when the real Boruto had the opportunity to get close to to get close to Lord Al and to, and use the Vizenga. But but Lord Al tried to use the gauntlet to the the gauntlet that he stole from the from, stole to the doctor to throw uh, the Vizenga attack. But and that's when Boruto used the other gauntlet to cancel out the uh, cancel out the effect of the, of the gauntlet that uh, that Lord Al had and was able to was able to use the Zenga and destroy the gauntlet that that uh, that Lord Al stole from the, uh, stole from uh, from the doctor uh, Doctor Koski. So basically, so used so basically using Doctor Koski's other gauntlet, he was able to cancel out the double effect of of the gauntlet that you know of the gauntlet that Lord Al stole from you know from Doctor Koski's power suit. So anyway, so basically with the with the gauntlet that uh, with the Got the what the got with the zombie gauntlet destroyed. Lo Al could not absorb any more of the juicy attack. So basically, so basically everything was on an even playing field until out of nowhere, so out of nowhere, Kohalu pushed both trials away and got hit by and got hit by a thunderbolt from the sky. Turns out that. Turns out that you know. Turns out that turns uh, out that Lo Hao or Lo Al had some drones with him. But uh, turns out that you know that Kosu gave Lo Al these drones that being controlled by his chakra. So basically, like you know, this is a gift from the Koski. So anyway, so basically, the thunderbolt from one of the drones knocked out uh, knocked out Kohalo. So basically, like you know, he was alive. He was just knocked out by the thunderbolt from from these drones. That 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 low that low I got from the coach from Kojin. So anyway, so anyway, Naruto was like you know. So basically, like you know, Naruto told uh, told Mishi and Ch uh, and 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 Sarada to Sarada to take the uh, to take a to take Kohalu to safety, and he said, "I'll do with Lord Al." So basically, like you know, before before Boruto would have got it in with Lord Al, he's like, you know, why didn't you? Why didn't you? You say you said you never went back to you never went back to your village when, when you when you came out of the coma and got the prospect off. Oh, why? So basically he said the reason why because I did not want to go back. I didn't want to go back. I didn't want to go back to my village looking like this. Looking like a a wounded survivor. So basically like you now so basically you know, I explained the reason why he dropped into the care organization in the first place. So basically so basically you know you know, one hour, one hour, you know, before I lost my arms and legs and eyes, I was a powerful man. Once, once I lost my arms and legs, I was not a powerful man anymore. So basically, it's either they went back home to my big village like did, anything, or, or my own people were thought that I was just a, uh, was it just a pitiful gift of a survivor or whatnot. So basically, so basically, the care organization gave me power, gave me power and a, and a purpose again. So basically, it gave me power again. So basically, he didn't want to go back to his own village. He like you know, looking like a you know, being pitied by you by his own by his own people and peers. Like he's a, like he's a wounded survivor and whatnot. So anyway, so basically Boruto was in, was in using some using some crazy using some basic juices which able to take out most of the most of the drones that um, 
I mean, you take down most of your own that that little owl was used it against him. Uh, was using it against him. And Boruto, so basically, little owl was like, you know, was impressed at Boruto from taking out most of the uh, most of, of his air drones. And a little owl only had to get that. So basically, Boruto using using to good creativity was able to was able to uh, able to check me. You know, using his shadow clone Q2 and the white gray was able to get close to Low Owl and hit and hit Low Owl with a Vizenga since him flying next to since since him flying into the stone tower room building that they were hiding in and took down Low Owl. So basically, Volto managed to make to take down Lo Al. So basically and Lo Al man reminded Borto that, you know, about on the train before he took him down. Before Borto took down Lo Al, you know, Lo Al reminded Borto like on the train, like, you know, Back there, I almost tried to stay with that screwdriver. You, you should be, you, you should be, you should be, oh, you should, you should pay attention to, uh, you should pay attention to anybody who, who might be an enemy. So basically, so basically, when Boruto took down Lo Al, you know, Boruto had the screwdriver that, that Dr. Koski had, had used to adjust Lo Al's prosthetic arm. So basically, it seems that Boruto was about to use the uh, used the screwdriver to kill to kill Low Al. So basically Low Al was like uh Low Al was like, you know, oh oh so you're gonna use that screwdriver to finish him off. So basically uh, it seems fitting. But Boruto did not use the screwdriver to kill Al. So basically he's like, you know like, you know, this might you know, this stab him and so basically, he just stepped the ground. He just stepped the ground. He, he just came. He brought her almost came close from starting low out with the school yard, but he did it. He, he did it. He didn't use that school bear to, to kill Lo, to start Lo out and kill him with. So anyway, Koharu woke up, woke up and like, you know, was surprised that Lo Al, that Lo Al was defeated, that Boruto managed to defeat Lo Al by himself, by himself. So basically, like, you know, so basically Koharu, Koharu is like, you know, we just got to, we're gonna take uh, so basically like you know you are, uh, we're gonna take you we're gonna take you into custody, Lord Al, and take you back to the village, and you could tell us about the uh, about the car the car organization. So basically, Lord Al was Lord Al was just laying there, he was just staring out at stake, and that's when he saw Cozin Cozin on top of the of the wound tower at the wound tower that both of the others were hiding in, and oh. Mishi Colson activate this summoning jutsu and and so basically so basically so basically like you know Low Al was staring at was staring at, uh, uh, on the tower roof and so Colson activate the summoning jutsu you know like you know and and that's how the episode ended with Colson she with Low Al just shock to see Kojin on top of the of the burning tower that Paul and the others were hiding in you know, and activating this summoning jutsu and this how the episode ended well but but with Boruto and with Boruto and the others, you know, looking at Kojin on top of the stone tower, activating the summoning juice, look like he was acting a summoning juice, and this how the, the episode ended, with the others reacting to Kojin, with, with Kojin activating the summoning juice, and this how the episode ended. So anyway... So I mean, this was a good, this was a good episode of Borto. So basically, this was a very good episode of Borto. It was acting packed, and also, and also we got molded from molded why Low Al is why Low Al is is letting the car, uh, letting the organization, you know, use him as a, a as a tool and whatnot. So basically, we got more backstories to Low Al, why he fought and. and, and 
join the way you join you join forces with the with the Carol organization in the first place. So anyway, this was a good episode. So anyway, like always, what do you guys think about this episode? Was it good, was it bad, or was it just okay? Please let me know with the comments below this podcast. So anyway, like always, it's Cynthia Michael from Screen View. Sign off. One.